Francesca Stavrakopoulou believes that within the pages of the Bible, we can find glimpses of Asherah. I'm so excited. I don't even know how to tell you this, but there is a possibility that there are more instances of Asherah in the Bible than we even realized, and the clues might be found in the Septuagint. This is from the Journal of Feminist Theology, the Hebrew goddess Asherah in the Greek Septuagint. If you watch the video that I stitched, Francesca Stavrakopoulou believes that in Deuteronomy there's an instance of Asherah that was then hidden with the word fiery law. It's a two-part series, Bibles Buried Secrets. You should watch it. It's really good. When reading the Hebrew Bible, it is clear the goddess Asherah is given a very negative image. There are some fascinating probable misreadings, including one showing that she might have had more exalted role in Deuteronomy 33.2. At the Lord's right hand, there was a fiery law, or was it Asherah? However, it appears the Greek Septuagint preserves some additional references to Asher, which are surprisingly positive. In all but one of the places examined, Asher can be confidently assumed to be underneath the Greek word for grove, the traditional rendering of Asherah. Additionally, there are places where Asherah does not occur, but the Greek translation gives us evidence that the word Asherah was there originally. Finally, two goddess passages, Ezekiel and Jeremiah, are shown to have significantly different emphasis regarding Asherah other ancient translations. Remember what I told you, her name translates to grove, sacred place, and that's actually where she was worshipped. Her grove was her sanctuary. It was her divine place of worship. Once I read this through and have a grasp on it, I will do a video on it and let you know what my research turns up. I encourage you all to read it for yourself and your own research, but dude, come the fuck on.